everyone. So I'd like to come on here and talk a little bit about um, LH levels and uh, testing for it. Um, I will still continue on testing for LH levels, right? So between the 8th, the 17th to the 19th, I should be peaking this month. Um, reason why I'm going to check is not to try to get pregnant. It is to try to avoid getting pregnant. The reason why is um, the fact that the HSG indicated that either I have scarring or the fallopian tube that I have left, the only fallopian tube that I have left, may be blocked. Okay, so there, there's two, there's prob, there is one problem that can occur whether um, the fallopian tube is partially blocked. Okay, so that could cause um, an ectopic pregnancy, right? And definitely scarring on the tube. That definitely can cause ectopic pregnancy. I am under no circumstances going to go through an ectopic pregnancy. At least I am trying my very, very best to avoid it. Just simply, it is dangerous to have an ectopic pregnancy. And anyone who has had an ectopic pregnancy or is likely to have ectopic pregnancies should be very cautious, right? I, for one, don't feel confident that my life will be saved in time, as it is, like I've mentioned before, um, due to the fact that I do live in a conservative state that has a heartbeat law. And last time I had uh, an ectopic pregnancy, they had to hear the heartbeat in order to determine that it was an ectopic pregnancy as well. And on, on top of that, it, it had to be vi visible in the ultrasound. And I was almost eight weeks when that happened. And then basically, one other time I came in there, I was pretty much eight weeks. And they were like, yeah, we see it. You need to be rushed to the you know, OR immediately. It's just, it, we don't know when your fallopian tube will burst. So that is very, very dangerous within itself. Nowhere, it doesn't matter where you live, right? Like, even if you live in the most understanding places in the U.S. or anywhere in the world, you don't want to go through that. That is a very nerve-wracking and just crazy to go through that. That is nothing. I don't wish it on my worst enemy, okay? That is, is fear because you feel like, hey, you know, you might pass. Yeah, it's never, it's not impossible. And I know people go, eh, no, maybe not. I don't think so. That's not true. Um, you can't. Because it can bust inside me. And that's what the doctor said. You have to be rushed in now. I couldn't even tell my daughter. I couldn't tell my husband, you know, goodbye fast enough. Like, I have to tell him I'm going to the OR. And they just basically told me to hurry up. And my, you know, eight-month-old daughter was in his arms. So I couldn't even really do much of anything because I was in pain, first of all. Um, and I was on a stretcher being taken to the OR. So that's one thing that I do not ever, ever want to experience again. And I will be um, testing just to make sure that I avoid that. Um, I need to talk to and get advice from um, the, um, my fertility doctor. I have some questions for him as well. Um, but I, under no circumstance, I'm going to go through that if I can help it. You know, um, Some people think that this, you know, women joke around and play around with themselves. And they do whatever, you know, and they uh, jeopardize their life. And it's not the case. I don't want that situation to come about. And it's just, it's disappointing. I feel very um, down about it. Um, the fact that every month that I pass and I don't try to get pregnant, I go run into the, the concept that I will um, go into pre-menopause because I am 44 going on 45. And I don't know when. My mom went into uh, menopause at 44. She had my um, last sibling. Uh, she was 43 when she was pregnant with him and at 44 she wanted to have another one and she couldn't because it started being irregular and then the doctor told her she was in menopause right she early menopause um my grandma her mother so my maternal uh, grandmother um went into menopause at 38. so to me I, and i don't know my dad's side because his mother died when he was two years old right um so and she was 26 and i don't know much about her right I, First of all, I don't know if she would have, if she would have lived, if, how far she would have went. So I don't know that part. And I couldn't guess it. So to me, I feel like I, you know, I'm running on, you know, a risk losing my periods, you know. And, and it's really, really frustrating as hell to know that I, I can't, you know. And I feel like my body is failing me. And I don't know. I don't know what else, how else to feel. Just gotta deal with it.
well, I'll keep you guys in touch and I will uh, test and I will show you guys um, what the LH levels are just for the purpose of uh, avoiding um, conceiving. Right? Uh, because I want to make sure that I know when I'm ovulating for a fact so that I can avoid that. Um, but yeah, I wish it was different. Until next time.